parents who are deeply offended by the fact of Rocco being in the back of the truck, I'm sorry. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times YouTubers got arrested. Oh, Mr. Alexia, I know you're in a better place right now. Italy hates vloggers. I'm sorry to Corey. I'm sorry to Corey's friends and family, and I'm really sorry to Corey's fans. For this list, we'll be looking at times YouTube stars were charged by legal authorities, be that for heartless pranks, ill-conceived shenanigans, or worse. Did any of these arrests shock you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Jake Paul – Arrested During Riots The Paul brothers are no strangers to legal trouble. This Don't is, do this. this is my, he's, this not is my he's not five. Yeah. This is my I'm, dad. I'm his dad. Okay. This okay. is my dad. Hello. In 2017, Logan was arrested in Italy for flying his drone over historic sites. Uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. Not to be outdone, in 2018, little brother Jake was sued for $2.5 million for property damage to his rental home. Then in 2020, during the George Floyd protests, he was present during a riot in a mall in Scottsdale, Arizona, leading to charges of criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly. Turn around. We're here for Scottsdale. He claimed he was filming for a future project. The case culminated in the FBI raiding his mansion, after which the charges were dropped. Number 9. Kangua Ren – Toothpaste Oreos Pranks can be a fun way to mess around with your friends. It's a different matter entirely, however, when you target a vulnerable stranger. Reset was a Spanish gaming and challenge YouTuber. In 2017, he decided he was going to prank a homeless man sitting on the street, feeding him Oreos that had the cream replaced with toothpaste. The man threw up after ingesting them, so Kangua gave the victim 20 euros and then uploaded the video. Naturally, it received a lot of backlash. The prankster wasn't remorseful at all in initial interviews and was eventually arrested. In 2019, he was banned from YouTube, ordered to pay 20,000 euros to the man, and sentenced to 15 months in prison. Number 8. Count Dankula – Offensive Joke In 2016, Scottish YouTuber Mac Meachin, aka Count Dankula, decided it would be funny to upload a video of himself training his girlfriend's pug to perform a Nazi salute. He also riled the dog up into reacting to an offensive, anti-Semitic question. This led to his arrest for being grossly offensive, which sparked public debates about freedom of speech. I just want everybody to know that I don't actually believe in anything that I was saying in the video. The whole purpose of it was just to annoy my girlfriend. I actually hate racism in any way, shape, or form. Meachin claims that the video was supposed to make his girlfriend laugh, but the court found this lacked credibility since his girlfriend wasn't subscribed to his channel. He was ordered to pay an £800 fine, but refused, instead donating the same amount to the Glasgow Children's Hospital charity. What's funny about that? The context of it, it's the juxtaposition of having an adorable animal react to something vulgar. That was the entire point of the joke. Have you seen the video? However, £800 was later seized from his bank account. Number 7. Ruslan Sokolovsky – Pokemon Go to Orthodox Church Pokemon Go was a craze that swept the world, encouraging kids and adults alike to travel their local areas while trying to catch their favorite Pokemon. The Russian government would prefer that you not catch them all, however, at least not in church. The Russian media had warned that playing Pokemon Go on holy sites could result in jail time. But Russian YouTuber Ruslan Sokolovsky actively challenged this, going to Yekaterinburg's Church of All Saints and broadcasting his adventures to his followers. The YouTuber was given a suspended sentence of three and a half years for inciting religious hatred. Number 6. Troll Station Fake Art Robbery The members of this UK prank group have been arrested on several occasions over the years. Go, 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 take it, take it, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! In 2015, they donned tights over their heads and created a panic at the National Portrait and Tate Britain galleries. Are you guys, get the pants! Are you guys, get the pants! Get the pants! 
Along with a speaker blaring alarm sounds, they shouted and acted like they were stealing paintings, terrifying the patrons and sending them running. The goal was to get a reaction out of the crowds, which they sure did. The stunts resulted in members of the group being arrested, charged, and given jail time for the havoc they caused. Number 5. Vitaly ZD TV Trespassing Vitaly Zadorovsky is a prankster notorious for causing a scene. Okay, guys, you ready to see the final product? Trump sucks. And then LeBron for president. He's even collaborated with Roman Atwood to fake an ATM robbery, which resulted in the two getting arrested. Right now you're detained. What's, what's, what's going on? You get, is this, is this we somebody's ATM? We just shot a hidden camera prank. Sorry, no, sorry. We own the ATM, it's okay. all ours. And that wasn't the last time Zadorovsky got in trouble. Hey guys, it's about to happen. When on his own, it's usually because he's somewhere he's not supposed to be. From streaking during the 2014 FIFA World Cup Final, 2016 NBA Finals, and 2017 World Series to climbing the Hollywood sign, he's made a career out of breaking the rules. But none of those compare to the time he really peaked. The peak in question? One of the pyramids in Giza, which he climbed to the top of when visiting in 2020. Egypt, I love you. No disrespect to you. I just want to bring awareness to the world. We need to help Australia. The stunt landed him in jail for five days. Number 4. White Boy 7th Street – Drug Felony Charges Alexander Wax was a gaming streamer who was used to police kicking down his door, but not through any fault of his own. Hold on, guys, give me a second here. While streaming Day Z in 2014, Wax quickly disappeared from his desk, only for an officer to come into frame with a dog sniffing around. Turns out he was swatted. This was the third time that month that Alex and his housemate Kelly Pop had false reports called on them. But this time, it ended badly. Marijuana was found on the property, prompting the YouTuber's arrest. All charges were dropped, and you guys have no idea how how thankful I am. He wasn't charged in the end, and the experience does not seem to have turned him off the green stuff. And yeah, we're in Breckenridge, Colorado, high in the mountains. Number 3. Jay Station. Fake death leads to abuse allegations. Jason Matthew Ethier was a Canadian YouTuber who became infamous for his pranks and staged 3 a.m. challenges. What's poppin' guys? Back with another 3 a.m. challenge. As you guys know, my girlfriend Alexia just passed away in a tragic accident. In 2018, he was arrested at Walt Disney World for trespassing and resisting arrest. But much worse was to come. This needs to go all over the place. He got his stuff stolen and now they're arresting him. In 2020, he announced that his girlfriend, Alexia Murano, had been killed in an accident with a drunk driver. That's it right there. It's okay, man. Everything's gonna be okay. He proceeded to make several videos milking her death for views where he visited the crash site and even tried to talk to her ghost. Is there any spirits here that wish to talk to us? <gasps> Do you see that? Oh my god, it's moving, Jay. Dude, 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 dude. But she wasn't dead, and the YouTube community was outraged. Murano left him and accused him of abuse, leading to his arrest and charges of assault and assault with a weapon. And I felt like he was trying to isolate me from my friends, from my family, and I just felt really isolated and alone. He and Murano ended up reuniting soon after, but not for long. Number 2. Boogie2988 – Warning Shot Stephen J. Williams, aka Boogie2988, is a veteran creator on YouTube, having become famous for his character Francis and later his commentary videos. Where's my Mountain Dew? Uh, what are you talking about, man? No, where's my Mountain Dew? I keep it in the microwave! In 2020, fellow YouTuber Frank Hassel began harassing Boogie, believing that Boogie was responsible for his channel's termination. The situation became particularly concerning after Hassel traveled to Boogie's hometown. I made it abundantly clear to him and anyone else that would listen that he was not welcome in my home, that because of his previous threats that I would pull a gun on him. In an interview with Keemstar, Boogie threatened to kill Hassel if he stepped onto his property. You're a fat 
You won't even open the door? I will. And then what, you're gonna shoot me? Well, Hassel did it anyway, screaming abuse, and Boogie fired off a warning shot. He was later arrested on the charge of aggravated assault. We've been on a plea of not guilty and are just going to do everything we can to make sure that um, justice is served properly. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Prince Z, fake medical emergency. Times Square officers tried to save a life that wasn't in danger. Police say it shows YouTube prankster Zeeshan Soroya faking a loss of consciousness behind the wheel. Gas Kings, scamming pensioners. Anthony Locke was jailed for defrauding the elderly. Herman Abraham Luera Acosta, kidnapping. The motivational YouTuber held woman hostage for Bitcoin ransom. Daniel Silva, murder. The Ink Master contestant was arrested for a car collision that killed Corey Labarry. But they say Silva was driving at a high rate of speed when he crashed his high-end car. Bystanders stopped him when he tried running away and was later taken to the hospital by ambulance. I'm sorry to Corey. I'm sorry to Corey's friends and family, and I'm really sorry to Corey's fans. Mona Lisa Perez, encyclopedic stunt. The YouTuber killed her boyfriend while testing if a book can stop a bullet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Rocco Piazza Vlogs, Child Endangerment. This is probably the first time we've done something this illegal. Holly Piazza and Brian Chase were the adults behind the camera of the many adventures of nine-year-old Rocco Piazza. During one of their videos, he and his nanny were buried neck deep in water and Orbeez in the back of a pickup truck. The problem came when his mother drove them out onto the main road. Cars sped by as the pair bobbled around in the back. I feel like it was awesome and people love it and then people hate it, but it's just really cool for us. This video, along with another where Holly dumped all the plastic balls on a public road, caught the attention of local law enforcement. The couple was arrested for misdemeanor child endangerment and charged the cost of the subsequent cleanup. It's time for people to know the truth yeah. about YouTube, that we don't exploit children, we don't, we're not mm -hmm. treating him wrong or doing anything against his will. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.